So, from here on out, I'm going to be picking my team that I want to, like, max out, and I'm going to be using only them. And if I decide to do grinding off stream, I'm going to do the Pokemon leveling up then. Because I have an alpha. I really, really want to show off. As well as... Excuse me, as well as some evolutions I have. So let's go see my Pokemon. All right, all right. Uh, let me see here. Pasture one, pasture two. So I'm going to grab Glammeow. Put them away. Pasture two. Uh, we're going to grab this one. Put it there. Grab this one. No, no. Try to switch the multi-grab. Uh, let me see here. Ken? No, he can't evolve yet. Okay. Why is I want to rest the first option? I don't even know why that's an option. There's a bed right behind you. Makes no sense. Okay, we grab these two and put them here. So now, I go to pasture eight. Opponents uh, can evolve, right? No. Curlia? I'm trying to remember who I have in here that can evolve because I've moved them all around. All these guys can evolve. I believe. Psyduck. Geodude. Got some Turtwig. Is that... Oh, yes. Yes. This is my new friend here. An Alpha Ghastly. Who's going to be permanently on my team now. I have a Gengar. I want an Alpha Gengar. I want an Alpha Gengar. Look how big he is! Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, little guy. Um, I'm gonna evolve you last, because you're my favorite. So evolve Shellos. We'll evolve all the rest along the way. I do apologize if I sound a little tired. I'm still tired from my Saturday shift. Which was 10 hours. Which doesn't sound like, oh, people will be like, oh yeah, whatever, but it's been a, it's actually been a while since I've done a 10-hour shift. Like, I usually get like 5 to 7. Occasionally I'll pick up an 8-hour, but to do a 10-hour, <laughs> I had fun. I enjoyed my time there, I enjoyed the, my friends, co-workers, the team I work with. We got a golden duck! Which is funny, because I would call this side duck, and the other one gold duck. I wonder if there's a mistranslation or miscommunication on the names. I don't know. I think Gold Duck should be the first form and Psyduck should be the second form. But hey, not my game. Nothing I can do about it. Time machines don't exist. I can't go back in time and be like, fix this. Swap them back. Get them back. Your Turtwig evolved into Grottle. We have Geodude evolve. He took a little while compared to the others. Basically what's going to happen is once I'm done evolving these guys, picking my team, we're going to talk to the professor, turn in anything I've done, we're going to go talk to the commander, and we should have the next area unlock, which I'm really excited for. I can't wait to see how big Alpha Gasly, or get Alpha Haunter is. Starflower Wolf, hello, welcome! Just in time to see, uh, Haunter, but he's an Alpha. How big is he? Oh, good lord! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! He's huge! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Alright, wanna see my Pokemon? We're gonna put the Pokemon back. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Sometimes when I laugh, I cough and I hate it. I really hate it because it's like, ah. Uh, move you over here. So it's like, oh, anything funny I can't watch because I'll start coughing along out. Um, let's go ahead and grab Gardevoir. I have a fire type. Let's grab Luxray. 
Do I want Luxray or do I want... I could have sworn I had a Raichu. Hmm, maybe I just imagined it. You also like the Ghastly Haunter Gengar? I have this one here. Which, actually, let me take him out real quick. So, Gengar, we're going to put him next to Professor on this side. Regular Gengar. Alpha Haunter. Just to kind of show a size comparison. <laughs> Look at him, <I'm> like, yee! <laughs> I'm gonna see my Pokemon. I'm gonna put the Gengar back. I'm not gonna get rid of Gengar. I love Gengar. Go right here. Yeah, so let's turn this in. We're gonna go talk to the commander. There we go. 5,657. I might buy a few more inventory slots. Depends on what happens after we talk to the commander. Okay, so let's see. Geodude's done. Cerevia's done. Combi's done. Psyduck, Machoke, Machamp, Graveler, Ghastly, Hippopotas, Golduck Hunter, and Shellos are done. That's so many. <laughs> oh, oh! We only need 350 more points to hit the next star. Yeah, let's tell the commander that we uh, took care of Arcanine. Commander, hello. I took care of another Pokemon. You did well in your mission in the Cobalt Coastlands. Your efforts there aided not only the Galaxy Team but the Pearl Clan as well. I do hope your efforts will also have an impact on the space-time rift somehow. We were able to get rid of that rift and should clear out any lingering doubts on your origins. Though we might actually close the rift, I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah, I don't even know where I came from. Remain true to the mission. Lordless lands complete. What's next, Commander? Are we going to help the Diamond Clan again? Is there someone else? Oh, potato mochi, as usual. If you notice today's potato mochi tastes a bit different, well, that's because I used a Pokemon's Flames to roast it. Bon Appetit. Ooh. Ooh. The birth of a new Lord Pokemon. What a sight that must have been. If only I had journeyed to Fire Spit Island to witness the event myself. I have a hard time imagining you making that trip on Basky Legion's back, Professor. <laughs> Come now, you know my coordination is so poor, I couldn't even hit my own foot with a Pokeball. I can't dodge Pokemon attacks to quite literally save my own skin. Of course I can't possibly ride atop a fearsome beast like Basky Legion. That being said, we'd all do well to remember these wise words. The ever-striving soul is rewarded in the end. And strive I shall, for the sake of my research, I will surely ride a Pokemon one day and record the experience in our Pokedex for all posterity. Just you watch. <laughs> the next day? Is it going to be the next day? I think we're going to sleep after this. Yep, next day. There's that rift again. Oh, hello. Good morning, good sir who came from the sky. Commander Kamado told me to let you know he awaits your arrival in this office. And you are who? Who are you? Hmm. Oh! It's a guy from the Diamond Clan. Sirsworth, I have your next order. You must go to Cornet Highlands to quell another frenzy noble, Electrode, Lord of the Hollow. Ooh. Electrode has pro propensity to store up electricity in its body, then unleash it. But since Electrode became frenzy, those electrical outbursts have become giant blasts. Ooh, that's not good. Huh. We'll be enlisting the Pearls Clan aid in securing your safe passage to Electrode Seat. I've sent word ahead to Rudy asking. N no, you don't have permission to go up the. Oh, save it as if I'll be stopped by the likes of you. Now, out of my way. Hi. I like your hair. Hey ho, Bossman Kamado. I thought it might have slipped your mind to send me an invite, so I took the liberty of stopping by anyway. Belly, where are your manners? We're having an important conversation. Well, there's your issue right there, Adamant. How exactly did you intend to discuss Electrode without me? It's Biden Warden. To weigh in. There's no more to discuss. We've already asked Sirsworth to quell the Lord of the Hollow. 
Oh, come on! Is it me you're trying to humiliate here, or our entire clan? Besides, do you really think this flimsy little noodle can quell Electrode? Commander, I'm sincerely sorry for this heedless interruption. Pay it no mind. It seems even Security Corps personnel trained myself cannot stop one so capable as Ward Melly. That being said, yes, it is clear that Security Corps needs even further rounds of training from me later. Hear that, Melly? Security Corps will saw themselves asleep tonight thanks to you. Commander Sumo Moves can even send boulders flying. <laughs> Now, now, that will do. Sir, where do you have your orders? See to it that Electrode is quelled. Ward and Melly, of course, we would appreciate your help if there's anything you might assist with. Now go! Scaling Perilous Heights. Guiding, now active. Sweet! Listen, Melly, the Galaxy Team, well, at least Sirsworth, is amazing. We'll prove it. Follow me outside. Are we gonna have a battle? I want to buy more inventory space first. Okay, good. Any new missions? There are new missions. Let's grab those real quick. Uh, the Sea's Legend. <clears throat> Ooh. Ah, golly, good choice there, sir. Where did I see you've taken on that request I posted. Let me fill you in right away, then. I was strolling along Prelude Beach the other day when I saw something swimming a little way out on the shore. Rather regrettably disappeared before I could have a picture, but I only assumed this mysterious swimmer was some sort of Pokemon. The right swam to seem to be drifting on urchin currents. Now, if I'm not mistaken, from the seas beyond behind Jubilife, that would take it all the way to Cobalt Coastlands. This rather leaves me wondering if the Pokemon was headed there for some specific purpose. Given the circumstances, I was thinking if we spoke with the good Warren Isaac of the Diamond Clan, we might learn more. Okay. I got your message, Professor Lavington. So, uh, you're looking for a Pokemon that was swimming towards the Cobalt Coastlands, yes? Well, I'm, I'm very sorry, I can't tell you much based on that alone. But, well, there is one thing I can tell you. I've heard long ago that the Cobalt Coastlands was known as the East Sea, and... Bricely Pokemon was said to live in the waters there. The story of the princely Pokemon can be found in a tome called The Sea's Legend. But no one knows so much about the tome or its tale beyond what I've just told you. So, uh, that's all I know. Uh, I guess I wasn't much help after all. Sorry about that. I'll, um, just, I'll take my leave there, then. I see it. Hello. Now, can I throw a heavy ball at it? <laughs> or is it too high up? Oh, oh, I got it. I got it. Yes, I got another unknown. Perfect. Alright, so request over here. I want to pick up all these requests just in case there's something in the new area that I'm going to. That they're going to have me go to. Nice to see you again, Mr. Survey Corps. I'm oh, you got great timing, as always. I want to make the fields even bigger, see, but there's some boulders sitting right in the way. If you a Pokemon that... That can smash them to pieces with Rock Smash should be mighty grateful. Um, do I have any I'm willing to get rid of? Here, take this Machop. He will help you out. Yes, give him the Machop. He'll make the fields bigger by getting rid of the boulders. Expand! And I'm all done. Look at that. We got four plots of land now. That's awesome. <clears throat> yeah, you can keep Machop. I want to keep going with these uh, things here. What am I going to do? At this rate, I'll make a real fool of myself in front of Conlon. Eh? Oh, hello. You're one of those kids from the Survey Corps, right? Ah, you might actually be the person I need to help me with a little research. My go, but my boy Conlon and I are planning to head to Prelude Beach at night to try and find the ghosts that are rumored to haunt the place. But ghosts scare the daylight out of er, my son. Yep, he's terrified of them. You think we could just not go and call it a day? But no, I'm afraid his little heart's set on this. 
But, uh, you know, a fellow who can't stay scared of ghosts forever, right? It's just too tragic for my boy, I mean. So maybe if I were to study up on ghosts, I could find a way to help my boy conquer his fears. Got any research on, on Ghastly? Yeah, I got Ghastly done. Here. Oh, gathered lots of data on Ghastly. Are you? Yep, it's maxed out. Let's see. So it's all recorded in this Pokedex yours. All right, then. Mushrooms, eh? Well, I'll be. It says here that Ghastly likes to eat mushrooms, of all things. Not that that's a bad thing, mine. Just a lot more tame than I was expecting. And here I was thinking that ghosts love nothing more to snack on unsuspecting humans. You know, it's funny. I'm actually rather partial to a nice mushroom stew myself. Maybe Ghastly aren't so ghastly after all. Hey, Dad, what you doing there? Ah! Conlin! You're talking about work again? Don't forget you got you gotta take a day off tomorrow. I promise you take me to see ghosties on Prelude Beach, remember? Uh, of course your old dad remembers, kiddo. I'd never let work get in the way of our ghost hunt. I'm really looking forward to it. Yay, I'm gonna catch a ghost and show it all my friends. Bye! Whew. You know, he was just putting on a brave face because you were here. Anyway, I owe you one, kid. I get the feeling my boy would just uh, fine tomorrow. I got a linking cord. I got a linking cord. Do you know what that means? That means this Haunter, which I'm going to throw here. I can make him into a Gengar. Now's not the time for that? What? Is it because he's uh, out? Can I not evolve him in the town? Oh, there we go. Hunters are ready to evolve. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Give me an Alpha Gengar. Give me an Alpha Gengar. Yes! Yes! Oh, Hunter evolved into Gengar. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready to see how big Gengar is? Let me stand back a little bit. <laughs> so, if you remember the other one, he was smaller than Professor Lavington. Look how big he is! I just want to hug him. Speak. <laughs> Sorry, I really like Gengar. <laughs> Alright, Gengar, buddy. We got missions to do. I'm gonna talk to him first. Adamant, what do you want? Alright, sir, so go around with me. Uh, you bet. Maybe make sure you're watching closely. <laughs> Closes its eyes and looks away. <laughs> Go! Gengar! <laughs> He's huge! Oh my god! <laughs> Woo! Been a shock! It's super effective! You defeated Leafeon! Oh, you defeated all eyes on me! God, this Gengar's big! Um, I'm gonna do Dark Pulse. Eevee use quick attack. Has no effect on Gengar. Let's do energy ball. You defeated Eevee. Battle decided. Good lord, look at all that XP. You see how good Sirsworth is now? Yes. No more sneering at him. Hmm. Now I think our helper from the Pro Clan was going to meet you at the training grounds once you're ready. Till later, Sirsworth. Glad to have your help as always. Maylee, shift yourself. Unless you want to get even more of an earful than you already do for. Oh, come on, Adamin. Cut me some slack here. Sirsworth. Oh, Silene! Join me in the Survey Corps office. We'll go over the particulars of your new mission. Yes, ma'am. Your survey work will take you to the Coronet Highlands next. You'll be on the Rift's doorstep. There's no telling what perils await. Your current rank qualifies you to conduct research in Coronet Highlands, but you will need help from a particular person to survey and ultimately quell this electrode. 
Go to the training grounds. You should find them there. Okay. This again. Alright, what does Tao need? Need new goods again? Yes, yeah, the same business all over again. Tao Huan refuses to supply any new goods to me. I suppose you must be wondering why he refuses any time to deal with him directly. Well, let's just say he has his reasons. Please speak to him for me. Bring some crunchy salt. Okay, so we need some crunchy salt. I don't even think I have crunchy salt. Do you have crunchy salt? Nope, no crunchy salt here. Hi, Mars. I mean, uh, Arizu. Hmm, no, that's not quite right. Just need something a little extra. Oh, just the boy I need. Can you use your help coming up with the new hairstyles? I hit a real wall here. Pokemon would be great for inspiration. I bet right now I'm picturing... Yeah, Mistrevious. I can sell you Mistrevious up close. I'm sure I could come up with some amazing new styles. Manage to cash one, bring it here, okay? Well, there's a surprise for one of the new Pokemon that we're going to run into. What do you guys have today? Uh, what do you have? Mechanical Tub. Sure. No idea what it is. Huh. Okay. Do you have any salt? Do you guys have any salt? Nope. Nope. Okay. Nope. Okay. Mechanical Tub. Interesting. Oh! It's a washing machine you bought from Kiko Gill, but using it would waste water. Oh! That looks like the Rotom thing. I wonder if that's what it's for. Wait, does, is Rotom in this game? Ooh, if Rotom's in this game, I'm gonna be really excited because I really like Rotom too. Rotom's a cool Pokemon. Like, the first time I saw it, I was like, that's neat. I want it. If I may, would it please if I expanded the variety of the clothes I carry? Definitely. Seeing new clothing is a true caller of any fashion conscious person, after all. But I need some inspiration to come. Ooh, I'd like to see Wormadon? Um. About your request. Do I have a Wormadon? Yeah. Here's the green one. So, this is what's known as a plant cloak. It's as if Wormadon has become one, one with the lush nature of Kisui. I never knew Pokemon were capable of such things. Yes, I've got it. I would be very pleased if you would have a look at my latest additions to my clothier. Yes, I will look at your new clothing. Um, I think it's time we get a new haircut. Yes. Uh, actually, let's wait till we get mischievous. You might have something I actually like. Alright, what's your request, sir? Sir, can I talk to you? I clipped through him. <laughs> you know, I showed that photo of Duskull to the children in the village, and they all shrieked with delight. Thanks again for helping me out with it. In fact, I'd like to ask your help once again. Alright, who are we getting this time? Hmm. I know what that Pokemon looks like, I just can't think of its name off the top of my head. A conspicuous pair of leaves pocketing in the frame like that. I'm inclined to think they could be part of a Pokemon, but I've got no proof, you see. You know of a Pokemon with such leaves you show me? Of course! Okay. Now... Let's go to the training ground. And let's get going with this next chapter. Oh, it was the person who didn't introduce himself. Hi there, sir. <laughs> Hello, Sirsworth. This gentleman is Warden Ingo, who serves Sneasler. He will guide you to her domain. Pleased to properly meet you. I apologize for the abrupt how do you do earlier. I'm the Warden Ingo. I understand that you need a hand from Sneasler in order to meet Electrode. Well, she'll fit to help you, however, we can only find out by making the journey. Let's have a safe journey to Mount Coronet. All aboard! Ingo was a bit like you, you know. How so? He appeared one day from who knows where. What's more, much of his memory seems to be missing. Maybe traveling with you will help fill in some of the gaps in his memory. In any case, I'm glad to have you, your help, to count on once again, Sirsworth. Good luck up in the Highlands. 
Yeah, definitely gonna need all the luck in the Highlands. <laughs>